Kitchen Culture and Sump have partnered up to create a series of pop-up brunches, and we had a chance to get inside the very first one. So how did this come about? We thought Scott was a great person to work with. The way that he does coffee, he sets up his coffee shop kind of like a kitchen line where he has stations. Okay. And so we thought, wow, we could pair something with that. Mike and I just really feel like brunch is underutilized. So we wanted to kind of just take brunch to another level, make it a little more freeform, but also try to maybe just elevate the plate so each plate is a composed plate. So how did you develop the menu? Sure. So uh, one is that we try to source as much as we can directly from the farmers. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to make things that are seasonal. So you have eggs and pork, which are natural for brunch. Um, and then also we don't have a kitchen. So we're right. trying to make it something that we knew that we could produce well, plate after plate after plate, with just a kitchen that was superimposed on the space. So I didn't really know exactly what we would have to work with or how much space we'd have to work with. Yeah. So. I don't want to say it was a simple menu, but I wanted to make a, a menu that was easy to execute. Kitchen culture is as organic as the ingredients that we use. Yeah. We started off as a t-shirt company. Uh, we moved on to doing prepared foods at the farmer's market. The farmer's market ended. What are we going to do? It got cold out. We decided to like branch out. We were doing the cross-fertilization within the market, and we decided to do the same thing with our peers in the restaurant industry. And so it just seemed like the next move for us to kind of reach out to the other restaurants, Scott here at some. Well, and it's fun because you can change what you're doing depending on where you're going or who you're partnered with, so you can be totally creative. A absolutely. I think that's the beauty of being kitchen culture is like people ask us what we are. We don't even know right at this point. We can be whatever we want to be at this point. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. The opportunities are endless pretty much for us at this point of what we can do. People always say St. Louis is a really small town, yeah. small, big town. Um, I've known Chris for a long time. I used to work with her at um, Chris Meyer at Blueberry Hill when I was in college a million years ago. You worked yes. at Blueberry Hill? Yeah, for a short time. She just mentioned it, like, hey, we decided that we need pastries, you know, can you help us out? And I said, of course, because I, I love what Scott's doing here, and I love what they do, and it just kind of fits you know, with what Mike Size does also. So are you going to be partnering with them each time they Ooh. do this pop-up? I know that they are interested in having pastries each time, and um, I, I hope to. I would love to. I think this is great. I mean, it's just people are very having a really nice, relaxed, delicious experience today. I think. The coffee tastes amazing. I mean, I am a pastry chef. I love sugar, and my coffees at the bakery, I'll put vanilla syrup in all of them every day. We use real vanilla beans to make our syrup, so it's, it's a great flavor. And this doesn't need any of that, because Scott roasted this particular coffee for this latte himself, which is wonderful in this tiny shop that he's got this gorgeous roaster right behind us. Um, it doesn't need anything. It's, it's really luxurious coffee. And I'm sure it goes beautifully with the sweetness of the pastry, so right. just dunk it all in there. <laughs> Chris approached us and just said, you know, uh, you don't have food, you just do coffee, um, would you ever consider some sort of partnership? One of the things I think about, you know, we obviously just focus on coffee, but this place has to be something more three-dimensional than coffee. It's a learning experience, and I told at least our customer base when I was telling them about the brunch, that, that I thought the coffee would be good and the food would be good and if they could just bring a little patience that they would have a good time and, and I think for the most part people, people were patient and as long as the coffee was good and as long as the food was good I'm happy with the event. Well then you should be thrilled because both were outstanding.